Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a WordPress blog just like this one you see here for just a dollar a month. Or maybe if you're into a different style of blog website, I'll also show you how to get access to the thousands of free website themes you see here from WordPress. That way you can make the exact site you're looking for. Now this whole video is going to be step by step. So even if you have no website building skills, that's totally fine because I'm going to show you guys how to set up the blog how to make your first post, where to go to get free images if you need them for your blog, and then how to use WordPress, which is the free site building platform that we're going to be using to build our blog. So if you guys have a few minutes, stick around and I'll show you how to get your blog up today. All right, so before we get started though, I just want to go over a couple of things really quick and then we'll get right into building the blog. First thing is cost. How much is it going to be to build this website? So the only thing that you're going to have to pay for is the hosting. Everything else, including the domain name, WordPress, which is basically a free website building platform that's free for anyone to use, and the website templates are all free. And if you guys are really new to this and you aren't sure what website hosting is or a domain name is, here's usually how I break it down for people. So your domain name is simply the name of your website. So for example, YouTube.com, Google.com, those are all examples of domain names. And now for the hosting, try to think of it like this. If you're going to build a new house, you would need the land to put the house on first. So if you think of your website as the house and the hosting as the land, it can help simplify things a little bit. And so basically, your hosting is where your website is going to live online. Now you guys can use any hosting provider you want. I'm just using GoDaddy because it's fast to set up, it includes a free domain name, and it has a low price. So if you guys want to follow along step by step, that's what I'll be using in this video. Okay, so now we can go and start setting things up and this right here is pretty much a small breakdown of what we're going to be doing along the way. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our hosting and if you guys are interested in the $1 a month hosting, what you can do is click the link below in the description or you can go to the link here like I'm typing in and that's createwpsite.com slash hosting deals all one word and then if we enter that in that'll take us to my website right here and we're just going to click on this GoDaddy coupon right here and that will automatically apply the discount code for us and bring us to this page okay so now we're gonna click on the get started button and we're gonna pick our plan and we're going to choose the basic plan then we're going to scroll down and we're going to keep the 12 months selected and then after that we can just go down here and click on continue okay now this is where we're going to select our free domain name so whatever you want your website called you can just enter it in here and see if it's available and if you guys are having some trouble figuring out what you want to call your website here's a couple of tips that can help you out Okay, and then after that, we're just going to click on the Submit button to see if it's available. And if it is, you can click on Select and Continue. Then after that, we're just going to scroll down. You can see that we got our promo code applied. We're just going to go to click on the Checkout button. All right, and then this is where we're going to create our GoDaddy account. So make sure you guys make a note of this info because if you ever want to log in your GoDaddy account, this is how you're going to do it. So once you create your account, just click on the Create Account button. And then this is the payment page. Um, I'm just going to be using PayPal. Okay, and if everything looks good, it probably should be 1218, and you can click on the Complete Purchase button. Okay, and so our hosting has been purchased. Now what we're going to do is install WordPress. So what we need to do is actually scroll down here, and then we're going to click on this Manual WordPress Setup. 
And now this is where we're going to create our WordPress username and password. And also make sure you guys make note of this info. Um, you're, you're going to use this uh, username and password anytime you want to log into your WordPress website. So once you create that, you can just click on the continue button. And then once we get to this point, you guys can just scroll down here and you can select your location that you're at. It should probably be selected already. If it's not, just select it and then click on continue. All right, and now this is just pretty much setting up our site for us. And this can take a few minutes, like it says. Could take a couple minutes, could take five. So just wait for it to load and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so as you can see it says congrats your site is ready now after that all we're gonna do is click on the view my site button that's gonna take us to our WordPress website and as you can see here this is just the blank template that they put on it and uh, what we need to do now is we need to go up to the top left corner and we need to click on the WordPress dashboard button and this is where um, you're going to be able to control your entire WordPress website. But before we get into that, we're just going to add our domain. So if you click on this Add Domain button right here, it's going to take us to this page right here. And now just select your domain name. And then make sure that box is ticked. And then click on Attach. Okay, and then once we scroll down here, you're going to see it says we're working on updating our domain. Again, this can take a couple of minutes, so we'll just wait until that's finished. Okay, that's done. You can just uh, close this box and then scroll back up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close these pages and then we're just going to open up a new page. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your website name and at the end of it, you're going to type in slash WP dash admin. Now this is the address you're going to go to anytime you want to log into your WordPress site. So now once we get to this page, this is your login page. You're going to enter in your WordPress username and password that you created earlier. And now after that, you're just simply going to click on login. And like I said, this is going to be the way you log into your WordPress website anytime you want to. And that's just going to take us back to our WordPress dashboard. And now we can start building the actual website. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to install our template slash theme. So what we need to do is go over here where it says appearance and we're going to click on themes. And then once we get here, you guys won't see any of these extra themes that you see right here because it's a brand new website. So what you're going to need to do is go over here and click on Add New. And then once you get to this page, this is where all the WordPress themes are. So if you go through these different tabs up here, you'll notice that there's 3,938 different WordPress themes slash templates that you guys can choose from. You guys can go through here and you can check these out and um, you know you can install them and then click on activate and then if you don't want them again you can just go and click on a different one and then click install and activate and it won't change any of your content on your site it'll just change the look of your website but the theme that we're going to be using today is called great news so we're going to go over here to the search box and we're going to look that up as you can see here it is yours is going to say um, install so first click on install and then click on activate and then once you do that your theme is now installed and that's how simple it is anytime you guys want to install a new theme now what we need to do is add our site title so to do this we're going to go over back to the left here and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go over here where it says settings and then we're going to click on general and the name for your site title can be anything you like. I just kept it simple and put my title as yoga and then added my tagline right here. And so after you guys do that, all you need to do is scroll down here and click on the save changes button. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to create a menu just like you see up here. And basically what this does is just helps people navigate your site a little bit easier. 
So for example, if this says yoga poses right here, say I was writing an article that had to relate to yoga poses, I would then put it in this category. So anytime somebody clicks on yoga poses, for example, they would see every post that's related to yoga poses. And then so to do that, we're just going to go up here and we're going to click on our dashboard again. And then we're going to go over to post and then we're going to click on categories. Now you guys won't have any categories besides probably just this uncategorized one right here. But all you need to do is simply type in whatever category you'd like to have and then click on add new category and then it'll put it right over here. So for example, this site is about yoga, so the majority of the posts that I put on here will fall under one of these categories. We do this so once you start posting content, people can just go to your homepage and whatever they're interested in most, they can just click on the category they like and they'll see all the different posts that have fallen into that specific category. Once we get into the post section in a couple of minutes, you'll understand it a little bit more. You guys can also go back and add categories or delete them anytime you want to. Just by simply going here, clicking on delete, you can edit the name of it, whatever you need to do. And I recommend usually adding about four to five categories to start. And once you guys add the categories too, that you don't need to save anything. All you need to do is just click on add new category and then I'll put them over here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these categories that we just made right here and we're going to add them to our menu. So to do that, we're going to go over here and do Appearance, and then we're going to click on Menus. All right, and then once we get to this page, you guys aren't going to see any of the stuff that you see right here because there isn't a menu created yet. So all you need to do is go up here and then click on Create a New Menu, and then you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I just named it Menu 1. You guys can do the same thing. And then once you do that, also come down here and make sure on the display location make sure this little primary box here is ticked and then if we come back up here we're going to go over and look on the left side here where it says categories and now you're going to select all the categories here that you want to show up on the top of your website so say for example i wanted to add the flexibility category even though it's already there i'm just going to remove this and then I'm going to select this flexibility here and then I'm going to click add to menu and then as you can see right there it just adds it automatically and you can move these up and down and put them so they're in whatever category you want and you guys can move these around and position them anywhere you want and if you notice this if you go here and you see how that box goes in like that if you put it in right there now under health if you click that category down on your menu on your home page this is going to be a sub item so you're gonna see this right here pop up under this health category and then if you guys want to bring that back all you do is just bring it right back over here and it'll no longer be a subcategory it'll just be one of the main categories and now like I said make sure you guys have this selected right here for the primary and then after you do that click on save menu and then we're gonna come over here to post and click that and when you guys get here, you'll see everything is blank, but you'll probably have a um, an example post that'll be there. You guys can get rid of that. To get rid of that, all you do is select here and then click on trash, and then that will get rid of that post right there. Okay, and then all you have to do to create a new post is come up here and click on add new. And then once you get here, it's just going to be a blank page like this where you add the title, and then this is where you add your content right here. And if you guys scroll down here, you'll see that here's all your categories right here that you created. So depending on whatever article you write, you can select the proper category for each one. So I'm just going to go back over here to one of these posts that I already created. And I'll show you guys how to do everything. Okay, so usually all you do is put your title right here for whatever your article is going to be. As you can see, I got this in these two categories right here. And then if you guys want to write any content, you'll see these little plus boxes pop up here called add blocks. And you'll see a bunch of different stuff pop up. Like if you want to add some more uh, text, all you would do is click on this paragraph. And you guys can type in stuff. Now once we get right here, you'll see some images right here. And this was created with a gallery. Basically all you do is click on this add block button. And then you select gallery. 
and then you can go to either upload pictures or your media library all your images will that you upload will eventually be in your media library after you do that so you would select the images you want however many you wanted and then you would just click on create a new gallery and then after that you can add captions in if you want and then you can click on insert gallery and that can kind of just add to the look of your post too and also if you go over here you can click on link to and if say if you guys wanted to link it to a different website or something like that you go here insert from URL and you can put in whatever URL you want so anytime somebody clicks on that image it'll take them to that specific URL then if we keep going down here you'll see some other stuff here's another image that I added same thing all you guys got to do is um, click on this uh, plus button right here when it pops up click on image then just upload your image or get it from your media library also here's a button that I created if you go back here and click on one of these pluses again and you scroll down you can see that there's going to be a browse all button and there's a ton of other things that you can choose from there's a the button that's how I created this right here then also too here's a YouTube video and all you need to do to do that is scroll down here and you can click on this YouTube logo and all you do here is paste in your YouTube video the URL and then you click on embed and then it'll just embed the video right here for you and say you guys want to center it click on align center maybe you want it to the left you can do that I'm just gonna keep it in the center though and then again if you guys want to create a link to anything again you just go here and then there's this little link button right here and then you would paste your URL there and then you click on this button and then whenever somebody clicks that uh, for example this yoga right here it would send them to whatever the link is that you paste it in here and now if you notice all of a sudden the sidebar disappeared don't worry all you got to do is come over here and click on the settings and it'll bring it back up and then if you go to post you'll see all this different stuff right here tags so for example top yoga poses for beginners I might add this tag right here just to show Google that this is what this post is about then if you go down here this is where the featured image is and if I want to replace the featured image it's the same thing as all the other stuff you can either upload your own file or you can select one from the media and that's pretty much it when it comes to the post and when you guys are ready to finally publish your article for example or say if you're not ready to publish your article you can come up here and you can click on save draft and that won't post it but it'll just save it so you can go back and work on it anytime and then when you are ready make sure you have your proper category selected then you just go up here to publish click on publish and then you click on publish again and then you will see your post will be live on your site then okay so now if you guys go to your home page here I'm gonna show you how to change this image right here we're gonna go over here to customize and click on that and then once we get here we're gonna go down to where it says header image and click on that and this right here is where you're going to change your current header image now all you guys have to do just like normal once you find the image that you want you can just click on add new image or replace image if it says that and then you just select that image and then it will automatically update it right here and then remember after you do that go ahead and click on publish to save the changes I just want to mention to you guys too if you guys need free stock photos for your website that are completely copyright free and free to use you can go to this site here called pexels.com and they have thousands of free photos for you guys to use you can go up here to explore and you can just go down here and search through all these photos that they have or if you want you can just go up here search anything you want and these photos are all free to use for you guys and I'm going to show you guys how to change this text right here or get rid of it if you want. So if we head over here, back down and click on where it says theme options, and then we go to blog slash archive. This is right here where you can type in anything you want. Or if you want, you can completely get rid of any text right there and it'll just be this image right here. 
Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for this website building video and now you guys should have everything you need to go out and build your own website. Make sure you guys just take it one step at a time and try not to get overwhelmed with anything, but just go through, like I said, follow the steps, add some content, and before you know it you'll have a website that's full of content and that looks great too. And of course if you guys need any help or you guys have any questions or comments or anything you can leave them down below this video and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos for tons more tips on WordPress. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.